Good instructions given by the referee early going. Mike gets him with the right hand. Eight in is down. He was really there with a punch right hand. It's up the box. You were hitting him with. You, you are you are just so destructive. Yeah, I don't know point. how he took all those, but and hey. I, and I Welcome back, fight fans. Buckle up, because today we have an explosive episode. Joe Rogan just unleashed a verbal assault on Jake Paul after he pulled out of the highly anticipated fight with the legendary Mike Tyson. This isn't just another celebrity spat. This is a full-blown takedown of Jake Paul's entire boxing career. Stick around, because you won't want to miss this. Joe Rogan frustrated this is a cowardly move. Jake Paul has shown his true colors today, and it's disgraceful. Running away from Mike Tyson? Come on, man. That's right, Joe Rogan didn't hold back at all. And why should he? From the moment Jake Paul announced he was canceling the fight, the entire boxing world has been buzzing with shock, disappointment, and let's face it, a bit of schadenfreude. But Joe Rogan saw this coming from a mile away. Ever since Jake Paul and his brother Logan burst onto the boxing scene, Rogan has been one of their most vocal critics. He's labeled them as opportunists in it for fame and cash, not out of any real passion or skill for the sport. And this latest stunt, just more fuel for Rogan's fiery critique. Joe Rogan intense Jake Paul talks big, but when it comes down to it, he's just a pretender. Backing out of a fight with Mike Tyson shows he never had the courage or the respect for this sport. Let's dive deeper into the rise of Jake Paul in the boxing world. How did a YouTuber with a knack for controversy become one of the most talked about figures in combat sports? Jake Paul's journey began on Vine, where he gained a massive following with his six second videos. When Vine shut down, he seamlessly transitioned to YouTube, where his vlogs, pranks, and stunts attracted millions of subscribers. But it wasn't just his content that kept people watching, it was his ability to create drama and stay in the spotlight. In 2018, Jake took on a new challenge boxing. His first match was against DGI, another YouTuber. The fight was an amateur bout, but it garnered significant attention, partly because of the rivalry between the Paul brothers and the British YouTube group, Sidemen. Clip of Jake Paul vs. Deji fight. Jake won the fight by TKO, and this victory sparked his interest in pursuing boxing more seriously. He started training with professional coaches and set his sights on bigger, more high-profile matches. His next fight was against Anasong Gibb, another YouTuber, which he also won decisively. Boxing is my passion now. I've dedicated myself to training and getting better every day. I'm not just doing this for fun. I want to prove myself in the ring. Despite his victories, many in the boxing community were skeptical. The opponents Jake had faced so far were not professional boxers, leading to questions about the legitimacy of his wins. Joe Rogan, in particular, was vocal about his concerns. Joe Rogan beating other YouTubers doesn't make you a professional boxer. It's entertaining, sure, but it's not real competition. Jake's next big challenge came when he stepped into the ring with Nate Robinson, a former NBA player. The fight ended with a brutal knockout with Jake securing a victory in the second round. While this win brought Jake more attention, it also brought more criticism. Nate Robinson had no prior boxing experience and many saw this as an unfair matchup. Critics argued that Jake was picking opponents who were not true boxers, undermining the sport's integrity. Nate Robinson, I underestimated how different boxing is from basketball. Jake caught me with a good shot and I respect him for that. Jake's subsequent fights followed a similar pattern. He faced Ben Askren, a former MA fighter known for his wrestling, not his striking. This fight ended in a first round knockout, fueling further accusations of cherry picking opponents. Joe Rogan Ben Askren is a tough guy, but he's not a boxer. It's like comparing apples to oranges. Jake is smart for picking these fights, but it doesn't prove much in the boxing world. The fight with Tyron Woodley, a former UFC champion, was another controversial match. Woodley, past his prime and not known for his boxing skills, was seen by many as another easy target for Jake. The first fight ended in a split decision win for Jake, and their rematch ended in a knockout victory for Jake. Despite these victories, Joe Rogan and others continued to question the legitimacy of Jake's boxing career. Career. They argued that until Jake faced a real boxer in his prime, his wins would always be viewed with skepticism. Jake Paul's rise in boxing has had a significant impact on the sport. On one hand, he has brought new attention and viewership to boxing, attracting a younger audience who might not have otherwise been interested. On the other hand, his fights have sparked a debate about the integrity of the sport and the rise of celebrity boxing. Joe Rogan boxing is about skill, dedication, and genuine competition. What Jake Paul is doing might be entertaining, but it's not real boxing. Celebrity boxing is not a new phenomenon, but the scale and attention that Jake Paul has brought to it are unprecedented. His ability to generate buzz and draw viewers has made him a polarizing figure in the boxing world. Some see him as a disruptor, bringing fresh energy to the sport, while others see him as a threat to its traditions and values. Fans' reactions were like, I think Jake Paul is great for boxing. He's bringing in new fans and making the sport exciting again. Another one added, Jake Paul is a joke. He's not a real boxer and his fights are just spectacles. It's not what boxing is supposed to be about. The announcement of a fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson sent shockwaves through the boxing community. The match was billed as a clash of generations with Tyson's legendary status and raw power pitted against Jake's youth and social media prowess. Mike Tyson, despite being 58, has shown remarkable physical condition in his recent training sessions. His dedication to maintaining his fitness and training with top coaches like Rafael Cordero has kept him in impressive shape. Joe Rogan Mike Tyson is still a beast. His power is the last thing to go 
and he's training with some of the best in the business. Age might slow him down, but he's still dangerous. The fight was set to be a major event, drawing interest from both boxing fans and casual viewers. However, concerns about Tyson's health and readiness began to surface. Despite his impressive training, Tyson had been dealing with various health issues, leading some to question whether he should be stepping into the ring at all. Mike Tyson, I love this sport. It's given me so much and I want to give back. If that means stepping into the ring again, then so be it. The controversy reached its peak when Jake Paul announced he was pulling out of the fight. The news sent shockwaves through the boxing community, with many accusing Jake of running away from a real challenge. Joe Rogan's reaction was immediate and intense, condemning Jake for what he saw as a cowardly move. Joe Rogan, this is a cowardly move. Jake Paul has shown his true colors today and it's disgraceful. Running away from Mike Tyson? Come on, man. The backlash was swift with fans and analysts alike questioning Jake's commitment to boxing. Some saw it as a smart business decision, avoiding a potentially career-ending fight, while others saw it as proof that Jake wasn't ready to face real competition. A fan mentioned, I can't believe Jake pulled out. He talked such a big game and now he's running away. What a joke. Another added, honestly, it's probably smart. Tyson would have destroyed him. Jake's just protecting his brand. The debate about celebrity boxing versus traditional boxing has been reignited by Jake Paul's career. On one side, there are those who believe that celebrity boxing is bringing new attention and excitement to the sport. On the other side, there are purists who believe that these fights are undermining the integrity of boxing. Joe Rogan boxing is a sport with a rich history and real athletes who dedicate their lives to it. Celebrity boxing might bring in views, but it undermines the hard work and dedication of true boxers. Celebrity boxing matches are often seen as spectacles designed more for entertainment than genuine competition. While they can draw large audiences and generate significant revenue, they can also overshadow traditional boxing matches and devalue the achievements of professional boxers. Boxing analyst celebrity boxing has its place, but it shouldn't be seen as a replacement for real competition. These matches can be fun, but they don't represent the skill and dedication required to succeed in professional boxing. The rise of celebrity boxing also raises questions about the motivations of those involved. Are these fighters genuinely interested in the sport, or are they simply looking for another platform to boost their fame and fortune? This is a question that has been central to the criticism of Jake Paul's career. Joe Rogan, Jake Paul is a smart marketer, but let's be real, fighting other YouTubers and celebrities doesn't make you a professional boxer. It's entertainment, not sportsmanship. So what's next for Jake Paul? Will he continue to seek out high profile, but less challenging fights, or will he finally step up and face a real boxer in his prime? For now, Jake Paul remains one of the most polarizing figures in boxing. His ability to draw attention and generate buzz is undeniable, but his place in the sport is still hotly debated. Whether you love him or hate him, there's no denying that Jake Paul has changed the conversation around boxing. Joe Rogan, Jake Paul is a phenomenon, no doubt, but if he wants real respect, in the boxing world, he needs to face real competition. Jake's future in boxing will likely depend on his willingness to take on more challenging opponents. If he continues to fight non-boxers or those past their prime, he will continue to face criticism and skepticism. However, if he steps into the ring with a legitimate contender and proves himself, he could earn the respect of the boxing community. Jake Paul, I'm not afraid of a challenge. I know I have a lot to prove and I'm ready to take on anyone. I want to show the world that I'm serious about this sport. And what about Mike Tyson? Despite his age, Tyson remains a formidable force in the boxing world. His dedication to training and maintaining his physical condition is inspiring, and many still see him as a dangerous opponent, even at 58. Tyson's return to the ring, even in exhibition capacity, has brought a renewed interest in his career and legacy. Whether or not the fight with Jake Paul ever happens, Tyson's impact on the sport remains undiminished. Mike Tyson, I love this sport. It's given me so much and I want to give back. If that means stepping into the ring again, then so be it. Tyson's legacy is secure, but his continued involvement in boxing raises important questions about the future of the sport. Can older fighters still compete at a high level or should they focus on other ways to contribute to the sport? Boxing historian Mike Tyson is a legend and his impact on boxing is undeniable. While it's great to see him still involved, we also need to consider the risks and the importance of preserving his health and legacy. Joe Rogan's critique of Jake Paul has resonated with many in the boxing community. His concerns about the integrity of the sport and the rise of celebrity boxing have sparked important conversations about the future of boxing. Joe Rogan boxing is about skill, dedication, and genuine competition. What Jake Paul is doing might be entertaining, but it's not real boxing. Rogan's voice is influential, and his willingness to speak out against what he sees as a threat to boxing's integrity is commendable. Whether you agree with him or not, Rogan's passion for the sport is undeniable, and his critiques have helped keep the conversation about boxing's future alive. Boxing analyst Joe Rogan's critiques are important because they come from a place of genuine love and respect for the sport. He's not just criticizing for the sake of it, he wants to see boxing treated with the respect it deserves. As the debate about celebrity boxing continues, voices like Joe Rogan's will play a crucial role in shaping the future of the sport. It's essential to find a balance between entertainment and genuine competition, ensuring that boxing remains a respected and beloved sport. Joe Rogan boxing has a rich history and it deserves to be treated with respect. We need to make sure that the sport's integrity is preserved even as we embrace new trends and audiences. As we wrap up this episode, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Joe Rogan's critique of Jake of Jake Paul? Is Jake Paul a legitimate boxer or is he just a savvy marketer capitalizing on his fame? And what about Mike Tyson? Can he still compete at a high level or is it time for him to hang up the gloves for good? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for more no-nonsense sports commentary. And don't forget to check out our other videos on the latest in combat sports. I'm gonna be honest, it was a weird fight. It was a weird fight between them. It feels like it's all fake. I'm not gonna lie.